we met because I think it was in 2018, I believe, where uh, I reached out because me and my wife wanted to um, send shoes, send weightlifting shoes to the Philippines. So we, we, we work out and we found weightlifting and we noticed that a lot of people here in the States just throw away their shoes. And, uh-huh. you know, and you see back home, you know how shoes, especially with lifting shoes, are they're expensive and they're hard to come by. Um, so I reached out because I knew she had a network of weightlifters. And I asked her if they would be kind enough, her and Julius, her coach, but one of her coaches, yeah. if they would be kind enough to be our partners and help us distribute shoes in the Philippines. And so together, all or all four of us started sort of uh, what we call lifters for lifters, where we where we collect shoes here around the gyms in Brooklyn, um, old weightlifting shoes, and then we send them to Heidi and Julius, and they distribute the shoes in in any don- in donations. Obviously, we became friends because we share the same love for the sport. Um, and obviously I, that's why I love Heidi, um, her and Julius just have a heart of gold because they know what it means to have good, good gear for training. So, um, so that's how we kept in touch. But recently after they reached out for, for a professional consult, which was this year. So what I do is is sort of a niche practice when we specialize in treating weightlifters and crossfitters. After the Asian games, that's when they reached out. I would never take credit for other people's work. I always tell people with physical therapy, we're especially in this type of business, we're oftentimes consultants. We do a lot of objective testing to check for muscular capacity, mm-hmm. joint capacity, and and overall, you know, if there is an injury, we want to make sure we mitigate pain. 